Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the uh, quick look of the latest uh, version of Firefox, Mozilla Firefox Quantum Browser. It is now today officially released at version 61. You want to know if you've got the latest version, simply go to your Firefox browser, go into the hamburger menu on the right side of your screen, go into help, and here you can go about Microsoft, uh, Microsoft about Firefox, and you will see it which should be at version 61.0. So this is the latest in the uh, browsers for Firefox. If you're in the US, it adds the new Firefox monitor um, that will, in the next week, um, have 250,000 of you test the Firefox monitor, which means when you enter a email, you'll be actually um, told if you've been pawned or not, uh, which is not bad of a feature, I think. What about what's new in here? What has changed or anything? For most people, the first thing you'll notice is that it hasn't really changed much. It's still the same old Firefox Quantum Browser. There's a promise of um, a little bit of faster performance on this one, uh, including in Windows, where apparently the switch between tabs will be faster because it was apparently slow. I did not experience any sluggishness personally on the tabs, but apparently that is one thing. Uh, it has one little change in the uh, interface, and the biggest change for that uh, is that the menu, they moved the menu that appeared in the upper right corner of new tabs into the Firefox browser settings sections instead. So if you go into the options in uh, Firefox, you'll see that there's new windows and tabs, and there's the uh, settings for that are in here rather than uh, being on the the, the uh, tabs themselves. So that's pretty much the only real change that you can visually pretty much see in here. Um, if you have or use websites that have open search compatible search engines, what you can do when you go to this page is go into the um, the three little dots in the uh, the web page that you are. So for example, if you, you go to google.com, you see there's three dots here. And in these three dots in the actions, some of the search engines might actually have you show. And I've, I haven't found a search engine that, that's there, but it uh, has the capability just under take a screenshot to add search engine to uh, Firefox Quantum. There's a new f uh, Firefox syncing feature, the Firefox sync feature that now allows extensions to hide tabs uh, that is also added in here. Under the hood, faster page rendering with Quantum CSS. Uh, there's improved uh, display and different sizes of screens. So apparently, depending on the, if you use, for example, really high dynamic range screens and very large screens, apparently there's kind of a better rendering here. Faster switching, as we said, both on Windows and Linux. And uh, web extensions now run in their own process on Mac, which makes it more secure. And tab warning is now included in the stable release. It was only in the developer uh, side before. You know, I've used it to go on some of the pages that I go to regularly because that's how I know if it's rendering fast. And I got to say, it, it seems to be f fast and crisp and, and work really, really well. So, um, you know, it, it seems to be okay. On the security front, there are some fixes uh, in here that actually makes this version more secure, and they have disabled access to FTP sub-resources. Um, and the latest version of TLS 1.3 encryption standard now is by default in Firefox. So there's a few, you know, and there's more bug fixes in there. Of course, bug fixes to fix all sorts of little things that people are complaining about, and more security fixes in here. So just for that it's not a bad idea to move on to Firefox 61. So uh, check out the latest version. Let me know what you think. A lot of people, you know, it's a very, since they've moved to Firefox Quantum, it's a process that seems to be a little heavy for some. Um, a lot of people seem not to like it. But um, hey, if you're using Firefox, upgrade to the latest version. Firefox 61 on Linux, Windows, and Mac computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.